let me tell you about this job I just came from. This lady broke down on the freeway and she had been talking to me for about a week. She broke down last week. She was driving down the freeway in her little Kia Optima. It just cut out on her going like 60 miles an hour. I show up, I plug a scan tool in just to see if there's any reason I shouldn't be trying to crank the engine over. There were codes before, but the lady's brother cleared them out. The lady had already had somebody messing with, with the car is the first thing. The next thing I do after not getting any codes, I check the oil and I say, hey, did you add any oil? I said, no. I said, okay, well, when's the last time you had your oil changed? Because they overfilled it. I look at the guy and he says, it's not overfilled. And then I'm like, did you do it? Did you overfill it? And he says, I didn't overfill it. I And then I just like showed him the dipstick. But I've seen so many cars that, that uh, they, they like blow head gaskets or they just get damage from overfilling with oil. And then you got this guy who won't even admit that he made a mistake. And you know, I don't really think the oil had anything to do with why the car won't start and why it shut off. Maybe it did, I don't know, but it's not good. So anyways, I showed it to him, put it back in, and then just tried to go about my business. And then so I'm asking them questions about the car, how it was running, just trying to get the most information I can, get a full story on this thing. And it's got a breathalyzer in it. I'm asking them questions and they're just super defensive, super defensive. And it just doesn't make any sense, you know, why they're being so defensive. Like I care about their dirty, you know, their dirty laundry or whatever. I'm just trying to figure out what does the breathalyzer do? Does it stop you from starting the car if you blow dirty? Does it stop the car while driving? I'm asking them and they don't really want to give me straight answers because they're just like, oh, it's not the breathalyzer. It's not the breathalyzer. Well, what the hell do you know? How do you know it's not the breathalyzer? Are you a mechanic? You can't get this thing to start. And if it was malfunctioning, and why not? Why not? I take the, the air intake off. I try spraying uh, starting fluid into it. And then the first thing, whenever I take the air intake off, the guy says, well, if it has a misfire, why, why would it be a fuel pump? Because I tell him that's what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna see, hey, maybe it'll start with some starting fluid. Maybe it's a fuel pump. And he instantly goes, into defense mode like why why is it misfiring if if it's a bad fuel pump to me it's kind of obvious like you think that a bad fuel mixture can't cause a misfire to me it's so obvious so i just tell the guy like hey if the thing's not getting fuel in there why not i didn't really explain explain it much more than that because how freaking much more simple can it get if the thing's not fueling right it could throw a code for a misfire why not but the car didn't turn over it didn't it didn't start up with starting fluid so it's probably not a fuel pump then I I go back to my car I get a multimeter and I'm just gonna start checking fuses and then the lady comes out and she's on the phone with somebody she asked me hey aren't you supposed to hook the car up to a machine I knew I just I just knew that was trouble because you know what happened there's a lot of machines you could hook up to your car there's tons of machines that you could hook up to your car. I didn't go any further into what I was doing. I just said, do you want me to stop? Do you want me to keep looking at the car? I just packed up and left. And and then the brother, while I'm packing up, the brother comes out and says to me, just starts talking to me like everything's cool. I just tell the guy she doesn't want me to work on the car. And he says, oh, she wants a diagnostic. I said, what the hell do you mean a diagnostic? I didn't actually say that. But in my head, I said that. I just tell them I'm not gonna argue about the process. I put the car, the little intake back on. I just pack up and leave. Should have just bounced. Because you know what he said to me? He says, everything you're doing, I've done. No, no, you didn't do any of the stuff that I did, probably. You scanned it with a with a freaking code reader. That's what you did. So don't lie to me. The disrespect is just outstanding. 